What's going on Arizona sports fan family appreciate you guys for tuning in today what I want to talk about is Michael Bidwell's latest comments pertaining to the Arizona Cardinals in the 2022 season y'all you're going to want to hear this. Welcome in. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, today what I want to specifically talk about is Michael Bidwell's comments pertaining to the 2022 Arizona Cardinals and how absolutely disappointed fans are and I guess just the NFL and what expectations we have for this Arizona Cardinal, you know, organization coming into this year. Now, before we get started, definitely do me one huge favor. Smack the like button on this video and subscribe for more Arizona Cardinals content. We're on the road to 11K and we're so close to getting there, so definitely subscribe it up. All right, let's dive right into this, everybody. Now, this latest Hard Knocks episode that ended up coming out this last Wednesday. Now, I'm usually pretty good in watching these episodes as they come out, but I've been absolutely disappointed in Hard Knocks and not kind of giving us the truth as Arizona Cardinal fans. Right now, the organization of the Arizona Cardinals seems absolutely broken, dysfunctional. Looking at it from a national level, like, we look like the laughing stock of the NFL right now, right? And obviously, as an Arizona Cardinal fan, it sucks to kind of be in this situation, but it's, it's kind of the truth. Now, we did actually get a good, good little piece of kind of information to talk about pertaining to Michael Bidwell and, you know, what he said. So, I'm not going to play the video just because of copyright reasons. Um, I ended up getting a copyright before uh, pertaining to, you know, watch, uh, you know, showing a uh, hard knock clip. But I am going to kind of give you just a real quick snippet and kind of fill in the rest. But what happened was after the last loss um, for the Arizona Cardinals, there was another team meeting uh, with Cliff Kingsbury. But before Cliff Kingsbury spoke, we had Michael Bidwell come out and he addressed the the team, right? He ended up addressing the team and he ended up saying, you know, he brought up the fact of Steve Kime taking a uh, health related leave. Um, he said that obviously Quentin Harris is taking over as well as Adrian Wilson and he doesn't foresee this being a very long issue, but for the time being, for the rest of the season, they're going to be the ones taking over the role of Steve Kime. Now, he did also mention the fact that basically he said this. He said that he is as effing disappointed as everybody in this room. Talking about all the players that are, you know, there for that team meeting. Now, he also said that he was able to see or he actually sees all the players that are like actually putting in their effort as well as actually seeing players that are trying to cut corners. Now, he said that it's absolutely imperative to you know, try to finish the season absolutely strong, right? Right now, we got three games left in the 2022 season. Most fans don't even believe that we're going to win another game because of how bad and dysfunctional this team has really looked. So to me, the comments of Michael Bidwell, actually, I felt like it was appropriate to have, right? Now, I know there's some, you know, fans out there saying like, well, you know, actions are stronger than words, right? And I do believe, I, I do agree with you guys there as well. Actions are stronger than words. Now, we have been dis disappointed in this hard knock series so far because we've seen some things that or actually we haven't seen some things that we wanted to see right like the Eno Benjamin the Sean Coogler a lot of the stuff that was like makes this organization look as dysfunctional as it is we weren't able to see any of that stuff like the, the Sean Coogler stuff literally they mentioned maybe like a one minute thing and it was very very vague it was very very brief but this right Michael Bidwell maybe knew that the cameras were rolling. He wanted to put on a show. I don't know, right? But actually, if I'm going to look at it in the positive side, I, I think it was a very important thing for Michael Bidwell to come out and say, hey, guys, this is what's going on. This is the reality of it. Because if you really truly think of it, these players are also playing for their reputation. They're playing for their next contract. They're playing for another team, right? Next year. Now, this team, I truly believe, is going to look really, really different. Now, I'm still going to believe that or... You know, I'm still going to choose to believe that Steve Kime is going to be, you know, done for, right? And this leave is just kind of the band-aid um, until the end of the season. I'm hoping that that's going to be the case here. But these players really need to start playing. Like, they need to kind of play with, like, their heads on fire. Because, yes, this organization is bad. Yes, this season is terrible. But at the end of the day, they need to look out for their future, right? And I think that's kind of what Michael Bidwell is trying to address. Now, this right here was something that needed to happen. It, it is, right? Now, whether you believe Michael Bidwell or you don't believe Michael Bidwell, if truly Steve Kime is done, I think that that is the number one win in this whole 2022 season for me because we're going to get a new leader. We're going to get a new decision maker. We're going to get another person that's going to be building out a team in their vision, right? Hopefully, somebody that's going to be able to build an offensive line 
for Kyler Murray and he doesn't have to run for his life every, you know, two or three seconds. I'm hoping that that's going to be the new approach for the new GM coming through. But I thought that this was a really cool thing for Michael Bidwell to come out. I want to know your guys' opinion on this whole situation. Michael Bidwell talking to, um, you know, the team. Let me know in the comments, everybody. Do you think this is kind of just a facade or do you think that this is actually true actions that he's actually truly feeling? Let me know in the comments below, ladies and gentlemen. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day and as always, go Cards.